Communal drinking is a vital part of Filipino culture. From the smallest birthday parties to big town fiestas, Filipinos just can't seem to get together without having a few drinks on the table. However, believe it or not, amidst the chaos lies an age-old order. Welcome to Philippines 101, and this is Philippine Drinking Etiquette. Following the opening of the bottle, the tangero, also called the gunner, and one of the distinctive characters of the drinking culture in the Philippines, assumes an important role. Now, prior to the commencement of the festivities, a small portion of the intoxicating liquid is poured into the cap, then subsequently emptied onto the ground. This ceremonial offering to the spirits is considered essential for a safe and devil-free session. The tangero pours the drink every time, measuring the liquor by eye. The participants are not given individual glasses. This is in accordance with the tradition of tagay, which means a show of trust, camaraderie, and in these days, a united willingness to enter in a COVID Russian roulette as drinkers share a common glass, passed in a round-robin sequence. It is frowned upon to take a pass, but when a drinker is excessively intoxicated, a substitute from within the group must consume the shot in the drinker's place without affecting his or her own turn to maintain the sequence. It is customary, post-consumption, to return the shot glass to the centre of the table or hand it directly to the tangero to be refilled for the next drinker. The composition of every drinking session varies. However, it is important to familiarise oneself with these characters as to be aware of their characteristics. The Drunken Master, a legend gifted with immunity from inebriation, usually left with the task of cleaning up after all is said and done. The Walking Dead, this creature's will to stay conscious despite consuming overwhelming amount of alcohol is commendable and allows it to continuously engage with the group, albeit from a half-dead state. The Escape Artist, capable of sudden disappearances, it leaves unnoticed bringing with it its share of the bill. The Werewolf The usual catalyst of trouble, it turns aggro and overconfident with every shot. The Concert Queen or King A frustrated vocalist, this creature bogarts the karaoke machine in its quest for validation. The Sleeping Beauty With its low tolerance for alcohol, this creature lacks the ability to stay conscious with its introduction in its bloodstream. Because it is immobilized early on in the session, the Sleeping Beauty is the primary target for embarrassing photos and unwarranted facial doodles. The Runner the one tasked with the acquisition and logistics of essential supplies to perpetuate the drinking session, such as ice and booze. One privilege of the runner is that it is able to choose the food it likes to be consumed by the group along with the alcohol. You see, for Filipinos, no drinking session is complete without the accompaniment of food, usually of the greasy and fatty variety. This is called pulutan, and it comes from the Filipino word pulot, meaning to pick up. Now, it is acceptable for drinkers to grab small bites in between shots. This is to remove the bitterness from the alcohol, as well as prolong intoxication as the food is hoped to slow down the alcohol from entering the bloodstream. It is unacceptable, however, to consume the pulutan with rice, as it is meant to be shared and not to be hoarded and treated like a meal. In the event that grease or fat is unavailable, inexpensive nuts and chips are usually the viable alternatives, including some born out of creative ingenuity like the tuna and canto cracker combo. My father, I restaurant. Kampai or Kunpai 
In Japanese, is the Filipino way of saying cheese. The clinking of glasses and the partaking of a shared beverage containing every participant's DNA is meant to honor old friendships, celebrate new ones, and in certain situations, possibly avert oneself from being violated with a sharp piece of metal designed to break up ice. Wag mo gawin kanin ang aming pulutan. Bakit ako ka na, no?